In this video lecture, we will be uh, solving this numerical where uh, we need to find the reactions at uh, the supports A and B. Now, if you see, uh, we have the support A is a hinge support. So, we have these two reactions. A vertical reaction, I call it as VA and a horizontal reaction, I call it as HA. Similarly, I have uh, two reaction, uh, one reaction at point B because it is a roller. So, a roller will give you only one reaction normal to its direction, normal to the direction of the rollers because it allows the horizontal uh, reaction to pass, means it allows the horizontal force, right? So, now the thing is that whenever we find the reactions of a particular system, we need to consider that system under equilibrium. Only if the system attains equilibrium, we can find the true reactions which are here. So that is the first assumption that we always make that the system will attain equilibrium uh, for these reactions, whatever we find. Okay. So the rea reactions are found for the structure under equilibrium. Applying conditions of equilibrium. Now we have three conditions of equilibrium. Summation Fx, summation Fy, uh, summation Fy and summation M equals to zero. Right. So we have to apply these three only to get uh, the reactions VA, HA and VB. But before that, you see that there are multiple uh, different loadings here. All are, this This is a variation loading, a uniformly varying load, both of them. Then here again, uh, it's a uniformly varying load, right? So what we'll do is, in the, my previous lecture, I had told how to convert a uniformly varying load into a point load, right? So what we'll do is, we'll convert these loads into their respective point loads. So starting with this uh, load CA first means the load that is there between the segment CA on the segment CA. Now we will follow our normal sign convention that is towards right. If the force is towards right, it is positive. If the force is towards uh, up, if the force is upwards, it's positive. And if the moment is anticlockwise, it is positive. So here we see these all these loadings are downwards, so they are negative. Therefore, UVL that is uniformly varying load is the if I want to convert this UVL into 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 a concentrated force, then I have to multiply. I have to basically take the area of this triangle, right? So it is half into base into height. So half into base is one meter and height is ten kilonewton. Per meter and uh, of course the negative sign before that because the, all the loading is downwards so we get minus 5 kN as an equivalent point load to this UVL second I convert the UVL from A to D so it is minus of half into base into height which is uh, minus 10 kN then we have this 12 kN which is obviously a point load but it is it is an inclined point load. So what we will do is that we will convert everything in uh, x and y direction. So I, I will resolve this force. Horizontal component of 12 is uh, since it is acting like this the horizontal component will be in the negative x direction and the vertical component will be in the negative y direction. Horizontal component is minus 12 cos 60 which is minus 6 and vertical component is minus 12 sin 60 which is minus 10.3923 kilonewton. Okay. Next is uh, the loading that is there between F and B. Now the this loading is actually uh, we have to take the area of the entire loading if I want to if I want to consider this as one loading so basically it will be area of the trapezoid that is half into sum of the parallel sides into uh, into the base or into the height whatever but uh, while we find the moment because the third condition of equilibrium is we need to do summation of moment at a point equal to zero and that time I will have to take the moment due to this loading about that point, right? So while taking the moment, since now if I can convert this trapezoid, trapezium loading into a point load, let us say like this. 
so and let us say i am taking the moment about point a so i will need how much moment this force is producing about point a which is given by multiplying the distance right distance with the load intensity but this load will be located at the centroid of a trapezoid now many students they find it difficult to remember the formula for the centroid because from from both the ends it it varies actually right so what we can do is we can simplify this loading into two loads we can see that it is made up of a rectangle and it is made up of triangle so rectangle is basically a udl and the triangle is your uvl so i've just broken this into two parts a udl and a uvl the intensity of the udl that is this much is 10 kN per meter this much is 10 kN per meter and this much would be the intensity of a, of the of that individual uvl will be 20 minus 10 which is again 10 kN per meter right so uh, converting this udl first into its point load it will be udl from f to b is minus 10 into 3 which is the area of the udl or area of this rectangle it's minus 30 kN and then uvl between f to b is minus half into base which is 3 into height which is 10 so it is minus 15 kN right once we convert all these into its point loads the next step is we need to draw the fbd of this beam so first i will mark all the reactions i have my ha and va and here i'll have my vb then i'll put all these uh, point loads that we have just found so this minus 5 now remember when i draw a load on this beam means in the fbd if i am showing the direction of the loading then you need not mention the sign of that load so if i am showing it to be downward it definitely means that it is a negative load therefore you do not have to show this sign when we write the magnitude right so it's 5 kN downwards then we have uh, 10 kN by the way what would be the distance of this 5 kN let's say from this point a so as i had explained in my previous lecture that uh, the point load when we convert a uniformly varying load into a point load the application of this point load is at the centroid of the triangle so the centroid of the triangle it lies at a distance of span or the or the base by 3 if this is if this is b total is b then this would be b by 3 and similarly if this total is h then the centroid in that direction is actually at h by 3 although we do not need that centroid location we only need the location along the span of the structure so b by 3 minus c the base is 1 meter the base of this triangle is 1 meter so this distance is 1 by 3 all right the next is 10 kN again now you are and uh, also remember that this base by 3 b by 3 is always from the right angle end you can see that this is a right angle triangle being from here so from the right angle end only it is b by 3 from you cannot take b by 3 from this and that that would be wrong right for the second triangle second uvl from a to d you can see this is the right angle point from there it will be b by 3 which is 2 by 3 so this much distance is 2 by 3 then we have uh, 10.3923 kN that is the vertical component of 12 and we have the horizontal component 6 acting in the negative x direction the distance between uh, 
point A and that point is I think it's 2.5 okay the next we have this udl plus uvl so the udl will be acting now again the udl acts at the centroid of the rectangle so if this is b the centroid of the rectangle is at b by 2 half right so if this is 3 the centroid of this udl along the span will be at 3 by 2 from f so it, it will be at 1.5 meters like this correct so from f it is 1.5 or i can say also from b it is 1.5 next i have uh, my uvl which is minus 15 so it is 15 kilometers downwards and again you can see now that this is the right and right angled point and the base of the triangle is 3 meters the base of the triangle is 3 meters right so base by 3 which is 3 by 3 which is 1 meter so from this point the right angled point it is 1 meter all right once we have uh, uh, drawn this fbd and once we know all these distances what we can do is then we can apply the conditions of equilibrium now conditions of equilibrium to this free body diagram so applying conditions of equilibrium first summation fx equals to 0 I will get ha equals to 6 means ha it is going in the right direction minus 6 equals to 0 so ha is equal to 6 kilometers directly right then I have summation of vertical force equals to 0 So VA or uh, let me write it as first we'll take this 5. So VA plus VB both are in the vertical direction then minus 5 minus 10 minus 10.3923 minus 30 minus 15 is equal to 0. So VA plus VB I'll get 70.3923 kilonewtons. Okay. After this after applying summation fx summation fi equals to 0 we need to apply summation m equals to 0 so summation m we need to apply on that point which will eliminate most of the forces so if i apply at point a you see that there will be no moment due to va neither there will be a moment due to ha right so that is the correct point where we can apply the summation of moments net moment at a equals to 0 so let me just write the distances again starting with this uh, 5 kN it, is, it will cause an uh, anti-clockwise moment about point A which is 5 into 1 by 3 min. so it's 5 into 1 by 3 positive because we consider anti-clockwise to be positive right then 10 into 2 by 3 which is a clockwise moment so it's minus 10 into 2 by 3 then minus 10.3923 into 2.5 then 30 so this is like uh, this much distance is 3 meters and this much distance is 3 by 2 because it acts at half right half of 3 so it's minus 30 into 3 plus 3 by 2 and then it's minus 15 into this much distance is uh, 3 by 3 so this much distance would be 2 into 3 by 3 uh, means uh, if uh, this distance is b by 3 so this distance has to be 2b by 3 correct same way therefore here it is 3 plus 2 into 3 by 3 plus vb because vb will be causing an anti-clockwise moment about point a plus vb into i guess it's a uh, 6 plus vb into 6 so from this equation there is only one unknown here vb we can find vb right vb will come out to be 40.1635 kilonewtons and 
we just have to put this vb in this equation to get va so va will be 70.3923 minus vb you will get va as 30.2288 kilonewtons so that's it uh, now we have completed this numerical we will uh, solve one more numerical now so this is fairly a uh, easy numerical again here we need to find the reactions at point a and point b i have ha and va and then i have this vb uh, since a is a hinge support and b is a roller support then I have this UDL from A to C which I will have to convert it into a point load. So again we need to assume that uh, this entire structure is uh, under equilibrium to find these reactions. So now we will convert that UDL which is the only force which we have to convert into a point load. So UDL it's a rectangle, the area of the rectangle 2 into 20. So it's minus 2 into 20 which is uh, minus 40 now we can draw the fbd so first i will mark all these reactions ha va and then i'll mark this vb here now i will put this point load of 40 kilonewton for a rectangle the centroid is at half of its base so 2 by 2 which is 1 meter so this 40 kilonewton will be acting at 1 meter from a then we have this 60 kilonewton which is at d 30 kilonewton meter of moment and uh, 20 kilonewton at F. That's pretty much what we need. We can apply the summation, uh, uh, we can apply the conditions of equilibrium uh, starting with the summation Fx equals to 0. So HA is the only horizontal force, I believe. There is no other horizontal force here. So HA will be equal to 0. Okay, there won't be any horizontal force there. Then we have net vertical force equals to 0, that is summation Fy equals to 0. So we have minus 40 plus Va minus 60 plus Vb minus 20 equals to 0. So this Va plus Vb will be equal to 120. After this we can apply the summation of m equals to 0 and again I will be applying summation of moment at a equals to 0 because that is the point where the maximum forces will, would be eliminated. So m a equals to 0. This is 1 meter right. So 40 into 1 will be an anticlockwise moment. Then uh, this is 4. This is 3 meters, 2 meters and 2 meters, okay. So 16 to 4 is a uh, clockwise, so it's minus 16 to 4. Then this 30 kilonewton meter, it's a free vector. I mean, it is not, uh, a free vector is something which is not dependent on the distance at what it is acting. Uh, anywhere it is acting, its effect would be the same. So this 30 kilonewton meter, which is a clockwise moment, so it's again a uh, negative, minus 30. Then we have Vb into, I think it's 9, which will cause a clockwise, uh, anti-clockwise moment. So it is plus Vb into 9. And then finally this 20 will again cause a clockwise moment at point A. So it's minus 20 into 11. From this, only Vb is unknown. So I'll get Vb from here. Vb comes out to be 50 kilonewton. Then I can put this Vb in this equation and I can get Va. Va would be 120 minus 50 which is 70 kN. So again we have found all the unknowns. Right? In the next lecture we will be solving few more numericals. Till then take care. Thank you.